the four new guys, one of those two. The original seven are, are the ones that are going to go for sure, and Glastoner is going to go for sure. But he's, he's part of the eight now, and then we're looking at the other four. Coach, uh, with, uh, with still uh, 24 or 48 hours, uh, what's uh, running in your mind right, right now, sir? Oh, to me, it's just, uh, again, we worry about what's right in front of us. We just keep practicing, uh, try to keep the spirits up to the guys and uh, um, try to get the, the new four guys to to catch up with the with the, with the, the, the original seven and, uh, uh, and Lasseter, try to get them to, to catch up. And then, uh, um, you know, just I kind of be on a, in a waiting game, but we're not. We're going to continue to practice. We're going to continue to lift weights. Uh, we have a two a day today. We have a two a day tomorrow. Uh, that's not including weights. And we have uh, uh, another practice after that, and then we play uh, play the Korean team. Uh, so it's it's not going to slow us down. We just got to we can't allow it to slow us down. We got to keep moving forward. It's just a little bit harder organizing practices because we have. Like I said, seven guys who know what they're doing and, and five guys who don't. So uh, we have to teach them somehow separately from the seven and keep the other seven guys sharp. So it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a difficult process. One thing Chuck Reyes told me when I took over the national team, he says, you've got to be agile as a coach. You've got to be able to do, call all the balls, do something different from what you expected to do. Uh, you have a lot of curveballs thrown at you. Um, he warned me in all this, and I didn't get to see it so much as an assistant coach, but of course I'm seeing it a lot more as a, as a head coach. So we're just trying to be agile and, and trying to put out fires here and there and there, and one at a time, one fire at a time. That's, that's the uh, philosophy we have right now. Is there a chance that you might get the result later tonight? Like, as I think Mayor Bumble went already to China to appeal the case. Uh, yeah, it's not, it's not just him. It's, it's other areas that we're looking at as well, mm -hmm. other avenues, I should say. Um, so it could happen anytime. Uh, but basically, there's a 48-hour there's a window. If it doesn't happen within 48 hours, then uh, uh, we'll probably just go in, in, in one direction. Coach team, uh, I've been Mr. Corbin player, so you know, mm -hmm. but I please trust in anything about so you coached in the series. Yeah. That was four years ago. So That's right. part of the reasons why we asked them to join us. Uh, we took them, uh, rather than the other two guys that were possible, we took uh, 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 Ross and and, and, uh, La and, and, and Lassiter um, because they, you know, they did have a little bit of feel for us in the SEA Games. We weren't running, we didn't go into the triangle system as much uh, uh, back in the SEA Games in 2019. We're doing a little bit more of it now, so that's new to them. But the defensive uh, philosophy and system and the techniques that we do, they're very familiar with that. And Arvin, Arvin's been in the triangle, he knows it. Uh, it's just a more of a refresher for him. And uh, so he should be able to fit in pretty seamlessly. A um, little harder for Kevin, but the thing about Kevin Arlas is he's a, he's a coach's son, you know? Coach's son seem to see the game really well. They pick up things really fast. And so I'm not so concerned about Kevin because his, his dad has taught him how to be a basketball player. And that's what you gotta be in, in the triangle. You gotta be a basketball player. Coach, um, when you had the press call announcing that you were going to take over the head coach position, you're very optimistic. You said you wanted to really fight for, for a medal in the Asian Games. Just talk about now experiencing this, your mindset. I don't think that changes, uh, honestly. I don't think that changes. I mean, uh, like I always say, you know, if you're, and I, I, you know, I compare it to the PBA. When you go out and, and start the conference out in the PBA, you don't come out thinking you just want to win a game or two. You go out thinking you're going to win a you know, when you want to win a championship, uh, you're not going to settle for semis or finals or quarters. You want to win a championship. So we're still going out, thinking about big picture is we go out and we're, our goal is to win a gold medal. But our focus is, what are we doing today? And that's our, that's our focus. Our focus isn't gold medal. It's what we're doing today. I don't think anything, anything that th that's thrown at us is not going to change that attitude that we have. We want, we want gold. We're going to pursue gold, but the way we pursue it is worrying about today and what we do today 
what we'll do at 5 o'clock in that practice, how we'll do tomorrow's practice and such. Right now, you bet. <laughs>